A small country like Israel has managed to achieve something that even the world's biggest powers like the United States and China have not done yet. Israel has become the first country in the world to fully deploy a high-energy laser weapon system in real combat situations. While there have been tests of similar technology before, no country has ever used such a system on a full scale in an actual battlefield. This new weapon is called the Iron Beam. So hello and welcome, you're watching Next IS English. Today let's deep dive into what this new weapon from Israel is. You might have already heard of the Iron Dome, Israel's famous missile defense system. But the Iron Beam is taking air defense into an entirely new level. So what exactly is this Iron Beam? Israel recently announced that it has deployed the world's first high-energy laser air defense system that is ready for full operational use. The system has been developed by Rafale Advanced Defense Systems in partnership with Elbit Systems and Israel's Ministry of Defense. Just to avoid confusion, this has nothing to do with the French Rafale fighter jet. The companies involved are all Israeli defense firms. The Iron Beam is designed specifically to counter short-range threats such as rockets, mortars or drones. Groups like Hamas and Hezbollah who have often targeted Israel with these weapons are the main reasons for developing the system. Traditionally, Israel would intercept rockets using expensive missiles but the Iron Beam works differently. It uses directed energy technology, basically a powerful laser, to destroy incoming threats. This makes it not only effective but also much cheaper than using interceptor missiles every time. Let's look at how the system works. The iron beam uses a 100 kilowatt high energy laser which can focus a concentrated beam of light on one target. Imagine a hostile drone flying towards Israel. The system first detects it using a com combination of radars, electro-optical sensors and infrared trackers. Once the target is identified, the laser locks on to a single point and starts heating it until the drone's structure melts, destroying it completely. The system can even adjust the amount of energy it uses depending on the size and speed of the target, which makes it very efficient. Of course, no technology is perfect. The iron beam does face some challenges. For example, weather conditions like heavy rain, fog or dust can affect the laser's path. Also, the system requires reliable power and cooling. Without these, the laser could overheat or fail. Another limitation is the number of targets. If a large swarm of drones or missiles come at the same time, the system may struggle to to handle all of them. Despite these challenges, the Iron Beam offers three major advantages over traditional missile defense. Number one, cost efficiency. Instead of spending tens of thousands of dollars on each interceptor missile, the system only consumes electricity to fire the laser. Number two, speed. Lasers travel at the speed of light, which is far faster than any missile or projectile. Number three, endurance. As long as the system has power and cooling, it can continue firing without the need to reload like traditional missile systems. Israel has already tested the iron beam in multiple scenarios including rockets, mortars, drones and even aircrafts. The system is expected to be fully deployed by the end of 2025, making Israel the first country in the world to field such a laser-based defense weapon in real battle conditions. The deployment of this system is not just a national achievement, it also has global implications. Once Israel demonstrates that this laser system works effectively, countries like the US, China, China and Russia are expected to speed up their own laser defense programs. For nations facing frequent attacks from drones and short-range rockets, this technology could revolutionize air defense as it reduces both cost and risk. It is important to note that international law restricts the use of lasers directly against humans due to potential blindness and injury. However, Israel clarifies the iron beam is intended only for intercepting weapons such as rockets and drones, not targeting people. This means that the system does not violate global conventions on warfare. Still, the real test will come in actual war where weather, countermeasures and mass attacks may challenge the system's effectiveness. In short, the iron beam is not replacing Israel's existing system like the Iron Dome or Arrow missile systems. Instead, it complements them, creating a multi-layered air defense that is faster and more efficient, also more cost-effective. If it proves successful in real combat, the Iron Beam could change the future of air defense worldwide, setting new standards for how countries protect themselves from modern aerial threats. Israel's achievement also shows the importance of innovation in defense. A small country with limited resources compared to global powers has managed 
to outpace larger nations in this technology, demonstrating that creativity, research and investment in advanced science can make a huge difference. For the global community, the iron beam is not just a weapon, it is a sign of how laser technology can reshape defense strategy, cost structures or even military planning for de decades to come. In conclusion, Israel's Iron Beam is a historic milestone in military technology. It is fast, efficient, cost-effective and represents a new era in air defense. While challenges remain, the potential benefits are enormous. Countries around the world will now watch closely as the system is fully deployed, learning lessons that could shape the future of warfare. So that's it for today. I will see you in another deep dive video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.